show ya. I am Arashi. By request. And live. Let's go. Hey there. This request comes to us from Hiawatha G. Thank you, Hiawatha. She requested this on Patreon. And as you know, all requests on Patreon go to the front of the line. So you might bear that in mind. Hiawatha wants us to take a look at Shoya. And I'll just kind of paraphrase what she said here. Uh, they were formed in 1981. And she says that they are the godmother of Japanese female rock bands. Uh, they locked in their lineup in 82, and so they've had the same members except for a brief period of time in the 90s uh, when they had a different singer. They were inspired in part by the Runaways. I think we all remember them, uh, or at least you've heard of them. And they were the first all-female band to make an impact here in the West. Uh, so they uh, were inspired by them, but she says they're more modeled after Deep Purple, who had a tremendous impact in Japan in the mid-70s, and I remember it because I was there. And you could not, in 75 and 76, you could not go into a bar without hearing Smoke on the Water, My Woman from Tokyo, Highway Star, Strange Kind of Woman, any you know anything Deep Purple was doing. And one of Deep Purple's best albums comes from Japan, a live performance there uh, called Made in Japan. I believe it was at Budokan. And um, it's its version of Highway Star is just crush, everything on there crushes it. Uh, so they had an influence, and apparently this band liked that sound. So this link that she gave me, uh, they also sponsor the Neon Yeon uh, Annual Festival uh, for Japanese female rock musicians. And they've mentored many of the bands that we watch on this channel now. So they've got a deep history, very deep. Uh, and I think they deserve a look from us, if, that, uh, if for no, no other reason than that. Uh, this link that Hiawatha gave me is from 2005. It was their 24th anniversary. This is their biggest hit from their 1989 album, Outer Limits. And the song is I Am the Storm, or I Am Arashi. So let's give this a listen. The godmother of... J-Rock female rock bands.
So, how come I've never heard of this band before? That was pretty awesome. 24th anniversary. Let me tell you who the members are, in case you're wondering. Mickey Nakamura is on the keys. Uh, Mickey Igarashi is on the guitar. Keiko Tarada is on vocals. Satomi Senba on bass. And Mickey Sundra is on the drums. Now, I gathered from the comments section, and it was all in Japanese, so Google Translation sucks. Uh, but I gathered, I got the impression that they're sisters, and it looks like from the name, maybe three of them are sisters. I'm guessing, so correct me. I'm sure you will. This band has a deep history, so a lot of you probably know this band pretty well if you're from Japan. I really liked that. Obviously, it's great straight-ahead rock and roll, and I'd like to hear more. So give me some more suggestions from Show Ya, please, if you've listened to them. And we'll be happy to play them here on this channel. As always, if you are a supporter on Patreon or at cupofcoffee.com, your requests go to the head of the line. And you can find those links in the description box. Otherwise, you can hit like and subscribe, and that helps out the channel too. And the subscribe button is on the video down at the lower right-hand side. You see it down there? Do you see it? It's just a little red button. You can press that right on the screen, and it will allow you to subscribe. So, <laughs> thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching this with me. Thank you, Hiawatha. G, awesome suggestion. I'm ready to get into more of this band. So with that, I want to say, see you later, alligator. Mm.